When doing any type of research here on Amazon and into the books that you want to create, it's always a best practice to go through to each individual book, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and then start reading the reviews. This way, you can see all the bad things that are people saying and all of the good things. Then you can incorporate that into the creation of your own books. Now, what I'm going to do within this video is share with you a process that you can now use using ChatGPT to really speed this up. Now, what I'm about to share with you can only be done with the paid version of ChatGPT. Now, why is that? Well, we're going to use one of the plugins. The plugin is called WebPilot. Now, this does some pretty cool things. What you can do is give it a URL of any web page that you like, and then it will scan that web page and then you can ask it specific questions. Now, to get the plugins, if you already have ChatGPT, you want to come down to here. Now, I'm going to blur out my email just here, but next to it are the three dots. You want to click on that, you want to go to Settings, and then you want to go to Beta Features, and then you can turn Plugins on just here, and the Browse with Bing. Now, once you've done that, you can come back up to ChatGPT4, go to plugins, and then from here, well actually, we go to the plugin store, then from here, you can search WebPilot, and then just install it. Now, once you have it installed again, we can do some pretty cool things. Now, what we're going to do is take the URL from the reviews from any book that we like over on Amazon. We're going to ask it a very specific question and then ask it to give it all of the pros and cons from those reviews. So let me go ahead and show you how we're going to do this. First, we're going to ask, I'm going to give you the link to a book on Amazon. I want you to give me all of the pros and cons from the reviews. Then give me a little summary which will help me create my own similar book. Then we're going to add the link. So let's go back over. Let's come over to here. Let's open this in a new tab. Let's scroll all the way down to the bottom. Now remember, we don't want this page. We want review page. So if we come all the way down to the bottom, then click on see all reviews. This is the URL that we want to take. So we're going to copy, we're going to go back over, and now we put that in there, we're going to click enter. Now let's let ChatGPT and WebPilot do its thing. It's going to go through, it's going to scan the review page, and then give us all of the pros and cons. So it says, based on the reviews I found, there are the pros and cons of the book. That book just here, pros. Uplifting quotes. So the book contains uplifting quotes that are appreciated by the readers. It's high quality. So the book is described as high quality and sturdy. Fun and easy to colour. The images in the book are fun and easy to colour, providing amusement to the readers. Stress relief. Variety of images. So the book contains a variety of images that are funny and make the readers smile. Now, that's the pros, but the cons are poor quality images. So some readers mentioned that the quality of the pictures are very bad. Thin pages, we have no control over that, but repetitive designs. So after colouring a few pages, the designs get repetitive according to some users. So that's some great feedback that we can take into account if we were going to create a very similar book. Now, the summary says the book is a high quality coloring book that contains uplifting quotes and fun, easy to color images. It is appreciated for its stress relieving properties and the amusement it provides. However, some readers have criticized the quality of, of the images and the thinness of the pages. Furthermore, some users found the designs to be repetitive after colouring a few pages. So for creating your own similar book, consider maintaining the uplifting quotes and fun, easy to colour images that the readers enjoy. However, 
you may want to improve the quality of the images and the thickness of the pages. We have no control over the thickness. Also, try to provide a variety of designs to avoid repetitiveness. So again, we have some really great info that we can now go off when creating our own books. Now, I haven't tried this myself, but I'm guessing we could probably put more than one URL here of the books in the same niche which we want to read the reviews. That's something I'd have to test out. I haven't tried that. But again, what you want to do is go into all of the bestsellers in the niches that you want to create, and then use this little prompt so we can check out all of the pros and the cons for those books and then we can incorporate that into the creation of our own. So that's everything which I wanted to share. I just wanted to share this with you because I thought that this was actually pretty cool. So if you have ChatGPT, the paid version, come through, try it out when doing your research. And to check out the rest of my AI videos, click right here and watch this playlist.